Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, Stock Index Trader Reveals His Fusty 100 uh, Strategies for 2017. Stock Index Trader Reveals His Fusty 100 Strategy for 2017. Let's get started. I'm on the monthly chart. As you can see, we have... Uh, a consolidation taking place between the level of 6975 and the level of 3790. So you can see that there is a breakout tracking price now, the price breaking above that consolidation and it's going up a bit. All right. So what I've done so far, because the consolidation is between 6975 and 37. Nine zero. The median line is somewhere near the level of five three uh, five one five three five one. By measuring the width of the the upper half of the consolidation, so this is the upper half of the consolidation, and this is the lower half of the consolidation. So by measuring the width of the upper half of the consolidation, because the price breaking above that consolidation, we project that half to the upside, bringing us to the level of 8559. So this is a target price level, all right? 8559, you want to note it down if you are trading the FTSE 100 stock index, the London FTSE 100 stock index, all right? 8559. I need to mention to traders that if we apply Fibonacci extension to the price action from here where my cursor is up to this high here, if we apply Fibonacci extension to this uh, trending phase, all right, in fact, uh, it was a trending phase from 1995 to 2000. If you apply Fibonacci extension to that, it will bring us the 138.2%. Fibonacci extension for that trending phase is quite near the level of 8559. So you can see uh, the dotted line below the 8559. That's the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level of the trending phase from 1995 to 2000. All right, so you don't want to forget that the level of uh, 8559 is a very important uh, a key level because it's also near the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level of the prior trend. All right, very, very important. So there is a resistance in this zone, so you need to be aware of it, okay? Another thing that we need to tell traders at this point in time is that uh, because uh, the consolidation is taking place between 6975 and 3790, media line 5353, by projecting our the half of that initial channel to the direction of the price, we need to be aware also of the media line of that projected channel. I don't want to draw that line, so it's somewhere, and it's just going to mention it to you, uh, it's somewhere near 7834, 7834, so note it down, is the media line of, uh, it's not, no, hold on, let me correct myself, uh, I would say 77, seven, yes, 7782, 7782, alright, I might as well put it on the chart now. Okay, 7782, or I call it 774, all right? That's it, somewhere near that zone. 7774, all right? Call it 7774, that's the media line of our projected channel. So be aware of it. So because the price now above the bigger channel, as it's going up, the first target is 7774, 7774. It's going up, be aware of that level. So if it reaches this level, people will take the first profit, all right? And then if it breaks above 7774, then uh, and find a support or display a higher low, or we see a bullish chart pattern, bullish candlestick pattern above 7774, then people will try to buy it, pushing it near the ultimate greedy target 
at 8559. I doubt it that it will reach this level this year, 8559. I doubt it, okay? I doubt it that it will reach it. All right, but we will see. We will see. All right, we will see. All right. So those are the key levels that we don't want to forget if you are trading, okay, the FTSE 100. I'm going to quickly go to the yearly chart. Uh, we're going to look at the yearly chart very fast. As you can see on the yearly chart, we last year was quite bullish for the, the FTSE 100. So prior went up first, okay, previous year, and then pulled back. And in 2000, this is an invitation to buy. People responded and pushed it up. All right now this year is uh, so those who bought it last year uh, some of them will try to take profit all right this will usually take place so if you see a long candle like this uh, if the market sentiment is not very very bullish anymore some of them will take profit all right but we need to pay attention to the fundamental will it find a support above the 7191 and continue to go up to 7774 all right On a weekly chart, it's not much to say, apart from the fact that uh, the price uh, formed a double bottom here. You can see here, this is a double bottom on the weekly chart. It was formed here, and the price breaks above the nut. All right, traders will also use okay the distance from the nut okay to the low of. Uh, the double bottom and they will project it on top of the knot to set a target which will bring us uh, near uh, the target level is somewhere near seven four five eight so there is a target there for bullish traders that are trading this double bottom chart pattern measuring the distance from the knot to the low of the double bottom and projecting above the knot uh, price target at seven four Seven uh, seven four five eight seven four five eight. All right. So those are the key level you need to be aware of if you are trading. Uh, okay. The FTSE hundred. The price now in uh, the the boundaries of the pitchfork tool because the pitchfork tool will determine the possible path that the price will take. Is now above the upper half of the pitchfork tool, which is telling us that the market sentiment is still bullish. We are also above, okay, that resistance at 6975. So, will it pull back to retest 6975? That would be good to validate it at a support level. All right. But we are now at the level of 7191, which is also a key level. Before I forget, I want to mention to traders that if you are trading the FTSE 100, the first long-term equilibrium price level that we must watch throughout 2017 is 6975. You don't want to forget that level, 6975 in 2017. Okay, from January to, to December, you don't want to forget that level, 6975. The current short-term equilibrium price level that we must watch if you are day trading, swing trading, that we must watch until the end of February 2017 is 7191. That's the current short-term equilibrium price level. So as you can see, the price is uh, hanging around it, okay, <laughs> on the weekly chart. So it's holding it there. We need to watch this level, 7191, up to the end of uh, February 2017. All right? So remember that those who are trading the double bottom chart pattern here also have their target somewhere near the 7458. Just to know something down for myself. All right. So, price in a rising channel in, a, in the upper side of the pitfall, too. There is one trend line that I want to mention to traders. Okay, I'll go in fact uh, to the. I spill my coffee here. <laughs> okay. uh, I'll go to the monthly chart. I want you, I want traders to draw this trail line on their chart. You see this low here, uh, low of uh, August 2011, and the low of uh, June 2012, August 2011, and June 2012. Connect the lows and draw 
Okay, this red trend line, very important trend line here on the chart. As you can see, uh, the price going up is above the short term equilibrium price level, but uh, we know that there is a target at 7458, but do not ignore the red trend line. Have it on your chart, don't remove it, okay? Leave it there, all right? Because we can trade around it. If it breaks above 774, we need to watch the red trend line, very important, all right? So draw that red trend line, August 2011, connect the low of August 2011, and the low of June 2012 to draw the red trend line on your chart and leave it on your chart. Also, all right, remember to put the pitfork tool on your chart. Uh, connecting the first point is the low of August 2011, and uh, the other high here, the second point is the high of uh, May 2015, and the third point to draw the pitfork tool is uh, the low of February 2016. So we need the three point, okay, to draw the pitchfork tool. First point, or right, second point, and third point, very important because the pitchfork tool will determine the possible path that the prowl will take. So this is all I can say about the full 100 is looking bullish. We have a breakout above the bigger consolidation zone will it continue to go up there are resistance ahead and there are influential key level the most influential key level the first most influential key level is 6975 and the current short term equilibrium price level 7195 profit target for bullish traders that are trading the double bottom chart pattern on the weekly chart at 7458 all right the projection of half of our bigger channel all right uh, is at 8559, okay? And the media line of uh, that projected channel is at a 7774, all right? If you go now to the daily chart, quickly, quickly, uh, to the daily chart, you can see that uh, we can draw another uh, trend line on our chart. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to choose this low here and connect it to this one like this. So choosing this one here and connect it to this one. I don't want this one, okay? So so just draw that on your daily chart and also you can draw a channel like this. So we need two points. This first point is here, second point right here, and we can just select one point here and draw a line that is parallel to the first line so we have a rising channel probably going down bouncing along okay that blue channel on the daily chart we can also draw the median line like this and leave it there on our chart this will give us a bit of edge it breaks above the, the short term equilibrium price level will it pull back to retesis going up be aware of the trend line and the key levels all right, this is the end of this tutorial about uh, stock index trader reveals his uh, FTSE 100 uh, strategies for 2017. I hope you have learned something from it and uh, will put into use to improve your day trading and uh, swing trading. A breakout is in place. Will it continue to go up? That remains to be seen. We must monitor the reaction of the price above the long-term equilibrium price level at 6975 and also near the short-term equilibrium price level at 7191. If you have any question or suggestion, uh, put in the comment section. In, a, in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about stock index trader reveals his FTSE 100 strategies for 2017. Speak to you soon.